Alrighty guys, here is the guide for leveling in Season 29's PTR. So let's get started. So obviously at the start, you're gonna need to make a seasonal character. So a lot of people keep on asking like, how am I leveling up so fast and how am I getting a lot of my progression done? So starting right off, you're gonna have to make a brand new character just like you would in any season. And you can go to Zoltan uh, Cool's area and you can kill him and you can get a chest at the very end. It's not really that big of a deal, but this is kind of just like normal things. You don't have access though to the challenge rift that is one thing that's big on the ptr so what you're going to do is you can walk around and here is the new season mechanic because some, some people warning is the season mechanic we're doing earlier on and i would say honestly no so let me go and actually explain why so you'll eventually see these portals that you can go into they're like these kind of blue purple-ish portals and you can enter them and so uh, what you can do with it, though, is you can get bounty materials and death's breath if you enter these portal areas. So here is me entering the portal, and the monsters are quite tough in it, so you can see me going in. This is the season mechanic, usually every season. There's some sort of way where you can level up faster. However, with this method, basically there's an area that you can go to, and you can kill some, like, bosses. And eventually, you're going to go to these next floors. It's almost like a very small mini greater if you look at the top right side of the map. But at the very end, you do get a reward. And you're going to go through several floors of this. This is basically the same as doing like a rift or a greater rift. But the area is literally just like a very small, like one screen in most of the scenarios. But at the very end of this, what you can do, and it's kind of optional. Um, as far as loot that you're getting here, it's not very good, at least at the very beginning. If you're wondering on leveling with this method, it still can be okay because you can get death's breath and you can get... Oddly enough, you get greater rift stones in the earlier stages, but you can't just use them immediately. But at the very, very end, there's going to be a chest that you can open up, and I'll show you guys exactly what comes in this chest. And these portals, by the way, they spawn in the open world, so we're just going to have to venture around. Um, you can see we did Temple of the Firstborn, which is a popular leveling area. So after you kill off all the enemies and you're on the final area of however many floors there are, I'm not sure if there's a specific number, but it is several floors. Here's what you get in this giant chest at the very end. This is where it becomes slightly worth it. So you can see you're gonna be gaining bounty materials. And as you start scaling in the difficulties, you're gonna be getting more. So this is what you get. And the reason why this is good is because you're gonna be able to use your Kanai's cube. So the first step would honestly be you don't have to do this method. I would say just doing rifts is probably the best method. You're gonna eventually need to go ahead and go and get the Kanai's cube. So this is an every single leveling guide every single season you want to go grab the Kanai's cube that is going to be in the ruins of Sesheron and then you're eventually going to go to the Elder Sanctum and then at the very end we're going to get the Kanai's cube here's another one of those areas but we just go get the Kanai's cube it's really not worth doing the season mechanic and I'll explain why so what you want to do is just try to farm 100 blood shards as quickly as possible and the reason why you want 100 is because there is a PTR vendor so get the Kanai's cube would be obviously make a character, get the Kanai's cube, and then what you want to do is you want to basically slam out rifts, and I'll explain why. Because the season mechanic, while you do gain yourself the ability to get the bounty materials, uh, you have a much faster way to do it. So I'm going to show you guys uh, basically just the end of a rift. We're at the very end over here. This is just a T1. Uh, we're only level 55, but a lot of people want to know like what's the fastest way to level, and so it's basically just doing rifts. But the reason why you want to do rifts, and you don't have to do it on Torment 1 ASAP, um, you're going to obviously kind of slowly work your way up, but we're just going to go ahead and kill this boss really quick over here. And you want to gain blood shards because there is a vendor called Jank Meme, and Jank Meme is super, super overpowered. So your ideal goal is to farm 100 blood shards. We've got 100 ready, so I can go ahead and show you guys. But just do the risks. You basically just kill a bunch of monsters, kill the boss at the end, and there is double blood shard drops right now for the Season 29 PTR. So once you collect 100, and this is an important number, these items don't really matter, I'm just gonna go merge them off so they're not clogging up our inventory here. So you wanna do this not only because, well, it's a good way to get like XP, but the season mechanic usually is something tied to our progression. Now, since we don't have the challenge roof, we can't just go and use our materials to do the Hope of Cain recipe, upgrade our uh, blacksmith, and then usually you would craft an item, and then you put it in here, and then you would go to the Hope of Cain, and you would craft some random item, and then you would then extract its power. Usually, if you were playing the Demon Hunter, you'd craft a dagger, and then you would guarantee get yourself either Carlos Point, and there's another one where you can get a Fan of Knives damage. That's the normal method, but in Season 29's PTR, you actually want to do it this way because you don't have the Challenge Rift, so you won't have the Bounty Materials. So you're going to see this vendor. His name is Jank Meme. You want to buy these two. This is why you want 100 Blood Shards. 
you want to get the bag of fortune and then depending on your character, I don't know what character you're playing. But let's say you're playing the Demon Hunter if you want to copy exactly what I did. You want to get the offhand pack. Now, if you are playing another uh, build that may want a weapon, you can get the weapons pack and the bag of fortune. And you're going to go ahead and if we open up the offhand pack, we're going to get the ninth series satchel. But if you get the weapons pack, you can get something that gives you just some sort of damage, right? So you guaranteed get yourself this item. This is the only one that matters for the one that I'm currently playing. And then you want to put it inside of your Kanai's cube so you can get a huge damage multiplier so you can just go straight to Torment 1 right after you do this. So you can see I already have it, but you basically put it in here. And you'll notice at the start, well, I have a bunch of bounty materials, but you don't have the bounty materials, right? That's where this one comes in. So you open up your Bag of Fortune, and your Bag of Fortune will give you a Ramalandi's Gift, which is actually very important, and just a hundred of the Nightshade, and you get a bunch of the gems, and you can see just with that, we are going to have 100 of the bounty materials. We also get 500 death breath. That's why I'm saying the season mechanic is kind of worthless and it's not worth doing in the earlier stages. Later, sure, it might be worth doing and it's part of like the new season. So of course people want to do it, but it's not really worth doing earlier on because getting the blood shards because of jank meme in season 29's PTR, it's just a lot better. So now that we have all of the things required, we are going to, normally we would uh, we already have this, but normally you, you throw this in and then you hit transmute and it's going to give you the power. You select whatever power you want. And then eventually once you get more blood shards, you can get the armament pack, you can get the jewelry pack. Squirt's necklace is great for almost every single build, but depending on the class that you play, you may want the uh, weapons pack instead of the offhand one, but uh, I just happen to be playing Demon Hunter. Now, the other important things to actually go over, um, obviously you would then leave the game and upgrade the torment difficulty, but there are a few other things that I want to mention since... Uh, it's been a while since maybe some people played the PTR. There is another bag called the Legendary Gem Pack. You can actually get this, and gems don't have a requirement for their level. So I have all the gems right here, and they're all going to start off at level 25, which is great, so you get the secondary bonus. So uh, if you buy that one, if you happen to have a ring that has a socket, you can just throw that in, and that's going to give you a massive extra amount of damage. Because you also get a bunch of the gems one thing that's very important i know that normally you'd think that like well why would i put a socket in like a, a trash weapon the thing is is that a ruby in a weapon will give it 270 damage so you get a huge amount of extra bonus damage if you just use your Ramalandi's gift in your weapon this one already has a socket but it doesn't matter how trash the weapon is use it it's going to give you a massive amount of dps boost and then you're going to have a huge boost not only in your damage but also in your survivability if you throw an amethyst Alternatively, can you also use a topaz in your helmet to get the reduced uh, cost of resource? Depending on your build, this can matter. If you get any other legendaries, yeah, obviously you can go ahead and equip them. But don't worry about too much about like re-rolling pieces of gear earlier on. The other method that you can do is just getting uh, some items uh, that, that would be legendary. And then what you would do is you would hope that it rolls with like reduced level requirement. So let me say, for example... Um, I wanted to use, let me see if I have like a, a bow over here that I can just reroll. Well, there's nothing over here that we can reroll that would really help out. Let's say we get something like a, a, a glove. And if you want to expedite your progression, you would throw it in the enchantress. I can't do the thing now because it has to be level seven. But um, eventually you're gonna start leveling this up and you can get reduced level requirement on some of your pieces of gear. The only important one to really get this on earlier on is your weapon. Um, if you eventually upgrade your uh, blacksmith, uh, let's see, okay, now ours is maxed out. So what I would do now is I could, let's say, craft a... Let me go craft a bow so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So if we just craft this, we could use a bow here, and I could maybe use this. Ideally, you would want to get something on the secondary where it would say, like, some sort of reduction in, um, like, a, a slow, any CC, and then you would roll that off um, at the other secondary, so you keep that one on and then you would try to roll reduced level requirement. That's another method of getting huge boosts, but basically you've seen us uh, basically melt the content. So another quick bonus tip that I can give you guys is if you do use the uh, gift, uh, eventually, depending on what you go for, some builds, it's better to get the offhand first, but if you do happen to get the weapons pack and you get an item that you want to go ahead and actually socket, you can actually socket in it with the Ramalandi's gift and use the gem of ease, but that will require you to spend 150 blood shards versus basically the 100, which is a little bit faster. But eventually, yeah, if you want to get a weapon, you can throw the gem of ease in there, throw in the Ramalandi's gift socket, um, and then you can actually 
get a huge power spike because, well, this makes it so the level requirement is set to one, but this only works with weapons. Basically, your goal is to go do rifts. Okay, not greater rifts because you can't do them. Even though you get greater rift stones from the new season mechanic, you still can't use them. I don't know why they made it like this, but this is the way it's oriented. So just try to farm up 100 blood shards, start crafting. Uh, well, in, in your Kanai's cube, you want to do the uh, recipe for the uh, extracting of the power. But yeah, just go to Jank Beam, get your 100 blood shards. This is the fastest leveling method. And once you do this, you're just gonna keep on slamming your rifts until you max out. And the reason why you wanna do this is because you can get more blood shards to go for more. But once your entire inventory or your entire Kanai's cube is filled out, if you want to, you can do the new seasonal mechanic, but I feel like it's a lot slower and the rifts are a lot more streamlined. The density is much better, but to engage in the new seasonal mechanic, uh, you, you have to just be in the open world. So you just like go anywhere. I would suggest Temple of the Firstborn, but you just go anywhere um, and Temple of the Firstborn is in act two and you just go around killing stuff and then a portal may actually open. That's why I'm saying it's not worth engaging in the seasonal mechanic earlier on because one, it's a chance for the portal to spawn uh, when you are killing stuff. And even if you go through the portal, uh, the monsters are pretty difficult in there. There's lots of elites and bosses, but the rewards are not uh, equivalent to the difficulty that is required when you can just get blood shards and just start opening up stuff so you'll have it ready to go once you hit max level you'll have like your entire six piece bonus but that's the fastest leveling method this is like kind of the condensed version sometimes i do make like the whole one hour plus guide oh look at one spawned in and again you can go into these areas but um just to show you guys the reward for these and why i do not think this is worth doing because this is a frequently asked question of you know do i think this season is good i mean i'll probably be making my thoughts on a separate video on it because i want to see how it's like during max level you know but how these areas work is you just kill a bunch of stuff and eventually what happens is um, another portal will spawn and you can just go to the next level. And do I recommend going immediately to the next portal? I mean, in the most cases, yes, because the only thing that's worth it in this whole area, okay? Um, you can get some Death's Breath though. Uh, I don't really even care about the legendaries, but you want to rush through it just so you can get the bounty material. And that's probably what these were designed for. Uh, because again, it's not like you're getting insane amounts of drops uh, earlier on. Maybe at level, max level, the drop chance is actually uh, way better but on PTR the drop chances are supposed to be higher anyways and in terms of my testing and luck I wasn't getting a legendary every single elite kill and uh, let's see we can kill this elite and see if he drops something at the very end over here uh, you see he didn't even drop it and this, this is with a boosted drop chance but sometimes you can come up to areas and I'm not sure if this is a super rare thing but um, there will be a ton of blues and this is part of the new season mechanic too so I guess let me just wrap this up because it's only gonna take us like in a minute or two here and if you see a blood shard goblin, that's ideally what you want. Okay, so we're on the last floor right now because that chest, once you open it up, it starts a timer. So let's open up the chest and let's see what we're going to get. I'm going to grab all the small things first so you can see exactly what's inside. And this is going to wrap up the video here. But yeah, this is the best leveling method. It's just, just do rifts. D don't bother doing the new seasonal mechanic uh, earlier on. So I'm going to pick up all these items so you can ex exactly see what we got for the reward. So... Let's open it up, and once you open that up, it's going to start the timer. We got one legendary, but we got five of all of the uh, different bounty materials. So that's going to probably save us the time to do bounties if we didn't uh, like doing bounties. So that would be one area where the season mechanic could be a little bit better. That, But that's for when the game launches, more likely, because with Jank Meme, well, you could just buy your, <laughs> all of your materials, so you don't really need to worry about that. But that's the fast leveling method. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it. But that's going to wrap things up. If you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you are new and you want to follow up with the best leveling method once the season actually comes out because we'll have a challenge rift. It'll be a little bit different. Uh, but as far as the season mechanic goes, that will definitely be worth it when it drops. But on the PTR, this is the fastest way to level up. But anyways, take care and I'll catch you guys in the next